Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can easily create containers on the Docker platform. In this tutorial, we will be deploying a Python server with the endpoint on Docker. So to start with this, first let's open up a blank project in VS Code. Now you can choose any choice of your editor. It can be IDD, it can be even Notepad, we don't care, but the main part is the code and the Docker file. So for the starting, we will be creating a Docker file. For this, let's name it Docker file. And that's it. Now, after this, you have to select the container that you want to use. Now, we need a Python container. Now, if you want to check out some other container, then what you can do is go to Chrome or any browser, type in Docker Hub and type in the name of the Python container that you want or any other container that you want. I want right now Python, so I will just type in Python. Mm, okay. So this is the official Python container, took me less than 5 seconds to search the name. Now here we can select the main, now here we can select the docker image tag. Now the tag is basically the name of the docker container that the developer used to deploy it. Now I will be selecting the latest one and the slim version for it. So 3 points, so 3.9.16. Now you can select any, it really doesn't matter. It's a lot of for different use cases. Now I will just copy this here. Now what I want to do is type in the tag name so that the Docker file can select which Docker container that is the base container it should select. So the syntax for this is from Python, the version name. Now this sentence will basically fetch the python container that is the base container. In the next line, we will be copying some files to this container. Now to create a basic server in python, I will just create a folder, add a server file in it. You can just copy it or download it from the github link I have provided in the description. Or you can just type it in and test it all out. So let me just create a folder named server. Now in this let me create a main.py file. This will be a python server. Now I am just typing in the code directly pasting it. Not really much to explain in it. Because our main focus is the docker container. So here I am just importing flask. This is just some flask initialization syntax. Our endpoint would be the base root endpoint. This is the function that it will get executed and this will simply return welcome to the docker container. Now we define a port, basic initialization, hostname, etc. The configuration in this code and that's basically the python server that we'll be creating. Now we will copy this server that we just created to the root folder of the container. Now we want to mention the working directory that when the container launches what exactly folder should it be in. Now we have deployed a server and a server file that is main.py is in server folder that is on the root so we will set in the working directory as slash server. So the command is work there slash server. Now next w o r k ok just a small typo work there. Now next we have used flask as the server module in python so we need to install flask in python because it doesn't come by default. So what we can do is type in run pip install flask. This will install the flask in the python environment of the container. Next we want to expose the port 8080 that we'll be using in our server. So we have been using 8080 so we'll expose that port. Now docker by default restricts all the ports on its container 
but we can expose whatever we want. So let's expose port 8080 so that we can make request call to it. Next is we want to actually run the server of Python. So we will type in command cmd python main.py. So this is basically what we will be running to launch the server. Now this can be anything depending on your work case. So that's basically the docker file. Now we will launch a new terminal. If you are in VS Code then you use this. Otherwise you can directly launch the WSL from PowerShell or Command Prompt. Now see that WSL is integrated with Docker. Now I have directly installed the Docker desktop. If you have not installed Docker desktop then what you can do is go to Google type in Docker desktop. Click on download desktop, download docker desktop, the file dot download, install the desktop. Once it is installed, what you want to do is go to settings, it's here, the top right corner. Go to resources, WSL integration, see that the first checkbox is enabled and whichever terminal of WSL that you will be using, see that, that the slider is enabled too. Apply and restart. Wait for the docker to restart if the changes are made. Right now my docker is empty because I have no containers deployed in it. Now we will be building a container in docker. To build a container in docker what the command will be used is docker build hyphen t that is the tag name. This would be the name of the container and the version name. So let's call it server version 1.0 the file that will be using which contains the command to deploy is the docker file that we just created so we will type the name docker file and where is the docker file so the location is the current working directory if the docker file is in some other location then you would want to cd it into the position in the terminal and either you can directly type in the location here itself now you can run this now the image is built if you don't see this progress coming up or see some error then you would like to check the docker integration the wsl integration in resources again uh, maybe restart your computer after installing docker or something if this something like this comes up then you are good to go. If you go to docker and select the images you will see that our image that we just built has come up here. The name of the image, the tag is version. You can directly run your container either from here. Select the optional settings or as the secondary version or rather you can also use the command Directly that is something what all the developers would do. So I would suggest directly using the command. Avoid using the GUI as much as possible. To run the docker container the command we use is docker run double hyphen the name of the container. The name of the container is server. It's here name of the container. Now we want to define the port forwarding. So the port that we exposed was 8080 and in the public and in the public network the port is also 8080. Now we type in the entire container name that was the server v1.0. Hit enter. You would see that running on all addresses, running on HTTP, the host port is open. This is basically the server that we created. You can go to Chrome or browser and just type in localhost 8080. 
Now, as you can see, uh, the message that we added in the server comes up here. So, as you can see, the Docker container is completely running properly. Now, if you still want to run it from the GUI, then you can just hit run. Type in the port 8080 or the same port forwarding. Hit run. You can see the Docker container runs. If I just refresh this, then you can see it's still displaying the message. You can pause your Docker container. You can even stop your Docker container or you can delete your Docker container. So that's it with this video. If you think this video helped with creating your Docker container, then hit the like button. Message in the comments if you faced any difficulties. I will be happy to help you. Subscribe to my channel if you want some more such tutorials or maybe help or anything. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.